Welcome back to the channel, and after episode 6, in which we met villain... I'm never going to get that fucking name right again, am I? We're going to episode 7, the penultimate episode of the first season. Let's get into it. We begin with a scene in which Geralt returns to Sintra after seeing the rising tide of Nilfgaard. He explains this threat to Mausak and wants to take the child surprise, Sorilla, somewhere safer. Somewhere safer being Kaer Morhen. We of course know that Mausak is dead due to the Doppler, so this scene obviously takes place before the fall of Sintra. I, I know, I know, I'm pointing out the fucking obvious, but to be honest, the episodic order in which this season has been put together is fucking abysmal. Its time skips and jumps are actually more frustrating than Resident Evil's. Calanthe, hearing of Geralt's return to Sintra, sends assassins to kill him, as she knows the only reason Mr. of Rivia would return would be to take the child's surprise. Calanthe, being the stupid, stubborn old hag that she is, doesn't really like this, as since Pavetta and Dooney died in a storm at sea, Cyrilla is all the family she has left. I sympathise with her that she doesn't really want her granddaughter taken away, but the best place for Cyrilla to be is as far away from the war as possible, that place being Kaer Morhen in hiding with a very, very capable set of individuals such as the Witchers. So emotionally, I do understand her pain, but if Calanthe really gave a fuck about Ciri's well-being, she'd want her to be safe, with or without her presence. What I'm trying to say is, from an objective view, He did it! He said it! She's being a massively selfish cunt. Anyway, Mausak teleports them out of the confrontation, and Geralt then confronts Cruella. I mean, look at that fur cloak. For fuck's sake, I don't know if they had Dalmatians in Poland back then. Actually, apparently they had black people. So fuck it, maybe they did. Geralt then repeatedly dick slaps her with logic, and it's a pretty fucking big dick he's slapping her with, because even the guards don't want none of it. Geralt then swears to protect Ciri with his life and return her when the war is over. She then stupidly attempts to fool him by dressing a common girl up as Cirilla. Geralt immediately knows something is off, but remains stoic and silent, just like another beloved icon should have been. He then of course realises that she isn't who she claims to be as she sees all of the friends bow to the actual Princess Cirilla. Whilst I don't think this was a bad plan on Queen Calanthe's part, maybe don't let Cirilla play in public whilst this extremely delicate exchange is going on. Geralt of course confronts Calanthe about this and she spouts some nonsense about how she can keep Ciri safe. This statement of course ages like milk. Geralt is then imprisoned for sharing his fairly sane opinion. Where have I seen that before? We then get some more dull stuff with Yennefer and Istrid. I really don't give a fuck about these two, and let's face it, neither do you, but for the sake of accuracy, I'll keep it brief. Istrid is now an archaeologist. Oh, sorry, sorry, there is more. <clears throat> they flirt as well. Th that's it. We are then introduced to Vilgefortz. Yeah, that bastard. He's also been race swapped and is played by some West Asian guy, because of course he is. I mean, all they need is a Chinese character, and they've won Diversity Bingo. Although, they already had one in Blood Origin, so. We then get an extremely important meeting between the Brotherhood and the Lodge, in which they discuss extremely important matters. I'm just kidding, they swing their cocks about bragging about their magical abilities and insult each other like petty children. Just to remind you, these are supposedly the brightest minds in the world, and while Sintra is being reduced to rubble, they are arguing over who has the smoothest silk. If Congress was ever represented in fantasy, exhibit A. So back in Sintra, we are taken back to a scene in episode 1, Queen Calanthe's death, after which Mausak was told to find Geralt and give Cirilla to him. Of course, Geralt has already escaped. Congratulations, you plagued yourself. So they're totally fucked. Sintra falls, Calanthe dies, and Ciri is captured. At least one of those things, possibly all of them, could have been avoided if Calanthe wasn't such an arrogant, deluded cunt. Something that Geralt actually pointed out minutes ago before he was imprisoned. Cirilla has some sort of vision, and then that's about it. 
the penultimate episode in which we learn what we pretty much already knew. Geralt is and always will be Bay, Calanthe is a dumb bitch, and Yennefer in Istrid's romance is worse than Belle and Edward's. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you're all doing well, and as always, take care.